I'm pleased to have with us uh, in this segment uh, Brian Monteverd, who's the project coordinator of the Worcester Regional Food Hub, uh, which uh, is partner in partnership between the Rich Regional Environmental Council, the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce, uh, funded by a grant from the Central Mass Health Foundation. Brian, welcome. Thanks for having me. And Susanna Hinman, who is the sales manager as well for the Worcester Regional Food Hub. So welcome uh, to you as well, Susanna. Thanks, Jim. Uh, Brian, maybe you could just give our, our viewers a, a little overview of what is the Worcester Food Hub uh, project. Sure thing. Um, so, like you said, it's a partnership of uh, a few different organizations, but we have two main programs. One is um, an aggregation program where we work with local farmers and producers all throughout Massachusetts, um, and we help them market their produce to um, larger institutions here in Worcester and surrounding areas. Um, and then we also have a commercial kitchen incubator where we support um, local food entrepreneurs, farmers, and other people looking to start up a food business. Right, and it's taking advantage of some assets that we have here, uh, not just around the state, but in Worcester County. We have more farms in Worcester County than any other county in Massachusetts. Uh, and, uh, you know, the work is to try to provide them opportunities to kind of grow and expand their businesses, keep uh, the, the product local, uh, and deliver it uh, to some of the larger institutions and, and maybe you could share with you know some of those organizations institutions that are involved to date sure um, right now we're working with a number of um, public schools so the Worcester Public Schools and Webster Public Schools are both um, actively purchasing product we're also working with um, the College of the Holy Cross um, the Worcester County Food Bank has purchased some products in the past and then we're looking to get into some more of the the other local universities this fall, like Clark University, and then some of the, the hospitals here in Worcester. And Susanna, before we come to some of the specifics, but I think you know the importance of this is if some of the local institutions, businesses are purchasing this, these dollars stay local. And there's been numerous studies that when dollars stay local, they're spent several times over before they cycle out. So we're not only strengthening the economy here, we're making farming a more viable uh, 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 profession for people oftentimes who've been uh, in it for, for generations in their families and uh, and then in the ex instance of the Worcester Public Schools 26,000 students getting healthy fresh locally sourced foods now you're the person Susanna, who makes that happen on a regular basis right trying to make the connections grow the orders yep. maybe you can share what you what you do and, and how you're looking to grow it uh, sure I am um, so I started with the food hub in May and my um, real quick my background is uh, kind of varied, but I've worked in restaurants um, as well as wholesale produce and have also worked on s uh, small local and organic farms in, uh, in my 20s. So uh, coming here was, uh, I, I was very excited to be able to combine all of those, mm -hmm. those interests and, um, and skills I've developed to, to bring to the table to the food hub. And yeah, my, my title is pretty much as it sounds. I'm the sales manager. Um, not only do I kind of manage the day-to-day -day operations and you know sales and purchases of the food hub that Brian described, but um, I'm, I'm also was brought on to help with outreach, sort of develop and um, bring on new clients, bring on um, new farms in the area, and just help help us grow. And, and what what are the you know when you're making that pitch or having that conversation with the farmers? I mean, what is what do you what is the the value proposition uh, and the benefit uh, that you're able to kind of make to them on on why they should be involved? You know, um, it, it. I'm sorry. It. Uh, I'm gonna edit that out. Okay. No, <laughs> let's go ahead. Our, uh, um, the host makes a lot of screw ups. We just we just go with it. Our uh, our mission is. I guess multifaceted, you know, we, um, we're we trying to not just offer these farms a, you know, business proposition, but more of a partnership because right. um, we want to keep our dollars local. Um, we're, you know, we're not, we're not looking to, for example, squeeze every dollar out of a case mm -hmm. of produce from these farms. Um, we want to keep it, things sustainable for the community. Mm -hmm. um, we also offer services like um, 
like wholesale Some of the transport, transport too, right? Correct. Yeah, right. so I think some benefits that a lot of our producers get from working with the food hub is they can talk to one person, Susanna, um, and then they have um, opportunity to sell to huge accounts that mm -hmm. they would never be able to get on as an individual farm. So, so, so when you talk about predictability, you know, sustainability, that's also predictability. If a farmer knows that every year that they grow a certain crop that it's going to be purchased, then, you know, as they kind of do their plan for the year and plant things and things, they can anticipate a cash flow and, and uh, not worry about trying to, who's going to buy my product, right? Yeah. Exactly. Um, so the, the other piece of this, and I'll give a plug to the, the chamber part of it, so, you, so the Regional Environmental Council, and maybe you could just tell people if they're not familiar with the Regional Environmental Council what that is. Sure. Um, so the REC um, is a food justice organization. Um, it's been around for quite a few years here in Worcester. Um, so our main focus right now is on, on food access and, and you know, equitable distribution of mm -hmm. healthy, affordable food. So we have... Um, four main programs. One of them is um, the Food Hub, but we also work with um, the community. So we have, um, I forget the number, over uh, 60 community and school gardens. Mm -hmm. So we have um, gardens where people from the community are able to grow right. their own fruits and vegetables. We also have a youth program called Youth Grow, um, and that employs, um, I think, 33 youth from the community, they get summer employment, they learn some job skills, and by the end, um, we kind of help them um, pursue college if that's what they're in interested in. Um, and then finally, we have a community farmers market program where we have um, markets every Saturday from 9.30 to 1 at University Park, and then Mondays and Fridays from 9.30 to 1 um, across from on, on Chandler Street. Chandler, right, across um, from Foley Stadium, uh, Commerce Field at Foley Stadium. And the Chamber's, you know, running the Food Hub piece with Neil Rogers, who we had on not too long ago on the show, where people thinking about creating a small business in and around the food can get taught how to do that, get all the appropriate licenses and things. So it's a great partnership. We just got a moment left, so I just want to give a chance. If somebody's interested, uh, as a farmer out there, someone knows, someone wants more information, how do they get a hold of you guys? Um, so all our information... Um, is on our website. Um, I think it's is it rec recworcester.org. Recworcester.org. Um, and then so you can email me at brian at recworcester.org, or um, the phone number for the the food bank is. I don't know that uh, website. It is 